Hello everybody and welcome back. So today we're going to be in the top field for number 9 and it is actually completely the wrong time of year for Duncan Ella, but it didn't ripen for whatever reason. It actually stopped. It glitched out at the uh, the final growth stage. So we've now forced the growth and it can be done and with seasonal growth paused just for today um, we should be able to harvest it without getting the message saying canola cannot be harvested in this month or in December. So that is the first job. Hopefully it's not going to take the entire episode because my plan is to really change that bank account balance by the end of this episode. We've got all of our dried corn to sell in, in January and we've also got all of our wheat to sell. So it's going to be a massive, massive selling session and um, yeah, also it'd be nice if we can change those two dolly trailers for a bigger trailer. How do we actually get to this field? Is it just... Oh, it looks like if I turned right there was a track leading to it. Okay. Well, it doesn't really matter. It's the same field. Uh, so um, yeah, let's get the header taken off and we will, well, we might be able to put it on a worker, but I usually just go around the headland once just to check out the area to see if there's any trees or other obstacles in the way. Of course, we need to bring the trailers over here, uh, but we cannot change those trailers until the end of the episode because, as you can see, we have minus £868. This is going to be such a change. Uh, yeah, this is going to be... Uh, well, I actually don't know how much we're going to make, but it's going to be significant because it's going to be two and a half thousand pounds for every a thousand liters of dried corn I think we've got like uh, 20 maybe 22,000 liters I can't remember exactly we've got all the wheat as well which is significant maybe 30,000 uh, don't quote me on uh, those numbers it's a lot and also we are getting straw from canola and corn so uh, we actually do have some bailing to do which is nice um, because it's yeah it's another source of income although if we had uh, the chopper going we would actually be putting fertilizer back on the field as I did in the field over there so we win either way but I think it is probably time to start making some money from bales it would be good actually if we could buy a bigger flatbed trailer too so that would be a good thing to do anyway yeah just gonna go around the headland we'll bring the trailer to the field and I will see you in a second Yeah, not really uh, too much ready to crash into there, I don't think. So we can just put it on a worker and hope for the best. Of course, I can go alongside. But I don't think we need to be hanging around the combine too much because it is filling up quite slowly, despite the crop being, I think, well fertilised. Um, so we can start the baling in the cornfield, or even here. We could, we could do it here, which might be a better idea because then we can actually keep an eye on the combine. Oh, what is it doing? Oh, no! No, don't do that. That's a really bad idea. What is it doing? Nope. Oh, it's detected the tree. Well, once it passes the tree, it should be fine. Because it's not going to go that close to the tree again. So, uh, yeah. Hopefully, we'll be alright. There we go. Okay, so, yeah. We, we could put the Massive Ferguson tractor onto these. It will struggle, so it's probably better to keep the fan on. Uh, we'll put the Massive Ferguson onto the baler. It should be fine, actually. It's only a, a round baler. That tanker is rented. I don't know if I should sell it or return it at this stage, because we are um, potentially... Well, I, we probably aren't still using it, actually. Uh, I bought way more... Uh, it's propane, isn't it? Yeah, way more propane than what we're ever going to use. I almost said methane. I've been watching rocket launches too much. Right, and of course, yeah, we did actually have some straw in here already, so that is going to be topped up, and that bale can be dropped out of the back. We're making the biggest bales possible, which is 180 centimetres. So, yeah, I don't know how many we're going to get, but it is all extra, although it could have been, it could have been fertiliser, but... I think it would be nice to... Uh, oh no, don't turn right there. <laughs> the wrong turning right. Yeah, I think it would be nice to uh, just get some more bales. And you never know, we might need a few more for the cows. I'm new to the map. I have not... Um, well, I've been up here twice now, three times. 
I'll get used to it. Bouncy, bouncy. Alright, let's put automatic drop on as well. Thing is, the combine hasn't really got too much of a lead. But, we will have to keep stopping to unload the combine and to unload the baler, so... Who knows? Here comes bear number one. I should probably unload the combine going back up. But I am hoping that this field is going to be relatively fast because we don't really want to be just doing this today. We've got so much other stuff to do as well. Uh, yeah, 76%. So we will get the fence started up. We'll spin around in this neighbor's field. I'm sure they'll love me. I would love to say that this is the last day with these trailers. They're not bad trailers, it's just I personally don't enjoy reversing dolly trailers, regardless of the brand. Nothing to do with the brand. Right, so yeah, got to keep this combine moving. I did return the corn header as well from yesterday. And it looks like we have a serious amount of spring cropping to do. Lots of spring drilling. In the spring, of course. Okay, right, so that should be pretty much it. I think that is the capacity of the combine, isn't it? I thought it was 6,000. Okay, maybe 7. Pull over to one side, and we'll get back into the lovely Matty Ferguson tractor, and we'll bail. But yeah, in a second, we'll have to jump back into the fence and unload the combine again. It's good fun though, doing canola straw makes a change. Well, we're not quite full, but we are 91% full, so I think it's probably worth selling if it's not too far to go. Oh, crikey, the price is coming down. No! Uh, well, it peaks at 2,198 and it is 2,164, so we want to get that sold as soon as possible. But where? Oh, no. It would be. That's a long way. Well, in that case, we are going to have to get a full load. I'm not going to take partial loads all that distance. Um, yeah, well, while we wait for the combine to turn around, let's just see if there is a suitable trailer for us to replace this one with. The Roland ones really do stand out to me, um, that's why I enabled them on this save game. Um, but we're still need to have a fairly significant amount of money, and yeah, we want to have a big enough one as well. Like, that is, that is really good. <laughs> um, I think the friend could pull it. Could it? Obviously not that. We'll just go with the 36. Um, but yeah, we need 67,000 pounds. That's going to be a while, especially as we have a loan. Okay, right. 16,000 litres. Um, it doesn't sound like much, especially when you consider we've got two trailers here. Yeah, we, we want to really boost the capacity of the trailers. We're going to be carting that distance. But anyway, yeah, let's just... Well, I shouldn't be going this way, actually. Keep going the wrong way. Let's get to the sell point. Uh, for the first time, I will time-lapse it, although I'll probably make a wrong turn. Because I have no idea where I'm going. There might be a shortcut, possibly. We will see. But this map is so beautiful.
Well, here we are, and I wasn't expecting a bridge. Goes around a corner. <laughs> right, um, yeah, so um, we'll try and squeeze into here, put the front loader down a bit. This is, hang on, it, oh, that might just be marking the, I'm just going to a random place here. That's just marking the, uh, the production itself. I should have gone, where should I have gone? Probably the only customer to turn up and be confused. In there, literally in there. Must be here. Surely, yeah. Yeah, the beacon of light is just in the wrong place. So, yeah, our first bit of money. We'll know exactly how much we're going to get for each trailer load, because they're exactly the same size. Sell one and we've sold them both. <laughs> right. How much is it going to be? So nice to see money coming back in. 17,303 per trailer. Very nice. Right, do that one. Okay, that one's pretty much done. They are slow as well, that's the other problem with them. I've got a pound less for that one. Price is coming down. So, see you back at the field. Hopefully the combine's still moving. Put the beacons on. Oh, 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 I thought there was going to be a collision on that. <laughs> We've got some serious catching up to do with the baler. Wow, it's made some progress, which is good. Um, and, well, actually looking at how much it's covered, we might, yeah, we should, in fact, be able to get all of this field now into these two trailers. So, um, yeah, it's not going to be a massive problem, carting such distance. And, yeah, obviously the longer we wait, the lower the price is going to be as well, so we can get them in the next one, that's perfect. But we'll put this back on a worker in a second, I will continue doing the bailing, and then we'll put this field behind us for today, I think, because then we're going to move on to January, and we're going to sell the uh, the dried corn and the wheat and make loads of money. We'll hopefully buy a new trailer. Uh, we'll potentially start to pay off the loan. Let's fill the trailer. Um, yeah, I don't want the loan, but it's quite a big loan that we have currently. But I did also say that we could sell the pig farm, because I don't think we need the pig farm. Uh, we have a huge farm down here, absolutely massive cow farm. We have our main farm here with cows and sheep. So I just don't think the pigs are a requirement for us, and it's two. It's worth £219,000. So maybe it's worth just getting rid of that now and repaying the loan. Potentially. Um... Yeah, when I say now, I mean after the bailing. So, yeah, we'll continue with the bailing. want to get this done today. There's no rush to get the bales cleared. Oh, well, I say that. The price is, I suppose, uh, declining. I think December is the best month for straw. Um, yeah, well, we need to buy a flatbed anyway, so we'll buy a flatbed as well. Yeah, the series is going to go far, I can assure you. We're going to get uh, the umbilical system as well. Spread slurry on the fields with the umbilical system. Be good fun. Use some different mods, DLCs, productions. Uh, it's going to be different. I think I can see what's going on here. We're going to end up with just slightly too much for the trailers. We're going to be left with a really annoying amount, maybe like 5% of a trailer, at the end of this. So, um, yeah, that'll probably just have to go in storage, I guess. I don't want to travel all that way with maybe a thousand litres, maybe not even a thousand litres. We will see. But the combine's almost full. I don't know if it'll reach the end. Hopefully it does, because then I can unload on the move. If it doesn't, I'll just have to jump into the combine and spin around. Um, but it was at 20% left when it got to the far end, so I would have thought it would just about reach this end. Hope for the best. Uh, 
Good. Okay. And this is actually the final pass. Keep it moving. Yeah, it is. It's going to be more than a trail load. These trailers have to go because this combine isn't even that big. Okay. Right, well, we'll head off. Get back over to the cell point. Get this sold as quickly as possible. But you can see what's left. Whatever was in the tank, which is probably next to nothing, and that piece there. <clears throat> um, yes, this is uh, this is going to become a regular thing. It's trailer one, now trailer two, and actually that is going to give us the money to buy a new trailer for the next day, the next month, to sell everything else. Um, so that would be a good idea. If we go and sell these on the way back. We should also get quite a bit of money for them. They're not even old. Yeah, we already have the money for the Roland, so that's great. Forget about the loan. <laughs> the loan will have to be repaid with the uh, the money from the other crops. Commodity money. Right, okay. Let's spin round. Try not to hit the barrier this time. I've hit it every other time. Good grief. I didn't even see those things growing out of the ground. I hit them while saying I'm not going to hit the barrier. Ugh. Right. That was close. No, that was still close. <laughs> yeah, you're here for the entertainment value. Here we are. Right, so I know that the trigger for this is here. Um, so, oh, you only get 10,000. Roughly 10,000. That's not that good. But, I suppose it is something. We didn't pay for the trailers in the first place. So, we do have 93, which is going to leave us with maybe 30,000 the high end of the 20,000s after purchasing the the big run. It's a really big one, so it's going to be a nice, a very nice upgrade. Uh, I don't know, oh, I didn't think about additional lights. Yeah, they look so good, don't they? I guess we should go with them. going to turn off the number plate. Um, I just hope this is towable with this tractor. 24,000 we're left with. Did go with the options. <laughs> right, so... It certainly should. I think it's a 724, isn't it, this? It is, yeah. And it does help if you know exactly where your trailer's been delivered to. Wow, that is big. Uh, well, hopefully we can pull it up the hill. If not, uh, we can, of course, get a bigger tractor in the future. And we have a logging trailer, which I'm going to get rid of. We might actually replace the logging trailer with a round bell auto stacker. Possibility. This is a big trailer. <laughs> Very big. Okay, right. I do love it though. It's got a super bright strobe. Blinding. Look at that. That's not a mega strobe. Oh, it's got more. Right, well, we'll get back to the field. Although we're not going to take the trailer to the field. We'll finish the bailing. We'll get the combine returned to the yard, we'll put the combine's contents into the silo and then we'll move on to the next day and we'll um, sell what, what, everything else that we have, the dried corn and wheat and stuff. I probably should return the tanker. My understanding is that it's empty so we don't going to lose anything. Don't want to incur any more fees on it. So yeah, there's the combine. It has a th just over a thousand litres. In fact, one, 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 one. What were the chances of that? Of course, we'll do that bailing as well. I'll just take the header off, then we'll do the bailing. But that'll take just a minute. We've actually got a lot of bales because they're huge, really high capacity bales. Okay, well, I'll see you in just a second.
the combine's away and the baler has reached the end. So, very good. I don't know how many bells we've just produced, does it tell you on here? Yeah, 19. Not bad. In fact, very, very good, because they're big bales. Right, so now we're going to get back to the farm, we're going to rest, and we're going to, well, I'll put seasonal growth back on, and we're going to then load up all the corn and sell that. I don't think it matters which one we do first, because I think the price for both is at its best tomorrow, so... Well, I suppose they might be at different times, but... Yeah, they're both at their best tomorrow. Bit rough. <laughs> yeah, nice little hidey hole there for the... Well, not really a hidey hole, nice little storage area for the combine. Definitely not putting the rolling trailer on the Matty Ferguson. It's not going to be big enough. So, yeah, let's just go and rest to 9, I think, 9 a.m. Should be a good time. Oh, beacon of light just encroaching into view. Seasonal growth has resumed, and it is looking like a pretty nice day. So what do we have? Wheat is decreasing, so we know we can sell that. Grain mill is the best place. I don't know where that is. Oh, it's near the store. Okay, that's not bad. And as for the dried corn, which is obviously our big money maker, that's also decreasing. And that has to go to the fast food restaurant, which is also at the store. Looks like we didn't quite get the 2,500, unless, of course, that was in the night. Might have been. But it's going to be very interesting to see how well this tractor can pull a fairly loaded trailer. I don't know how full it's going to be exactly. I think it's, it's 36,000 litres, possibly. So, yeah, with the corn, it should be full. Not quite enough to fill it with the wheat. But still very, very good. Right, it feels heavy, <laughs> as you would expect. Let's just put this front loader down a bit. Should have done that before. Okay. Right, well I will see you at the sell point when we're going to make our first decent chunk of money. How exactly do we get into there? Straight ahead, I guess. And then... Maybe either way, this is an easier way to go, though. Ah, there we go. Very good. So this will not be our biggest payment. The biggest payment is definitely coming from the corn. It's going to come in as two payments. Please be good though, because we've got such a big loan to repay, but I think, like I said, the pig farm, if that goes, we'll be good. Because then we can just put all this money straight back into the farm instead of having to pay off loans into the important part of the farm. We, we don't need all those farms. We've got three farms. We don't need three. I usually only have one. Right, let's get back and I will fill this up now to the top with dry corn, which of course is a, a new thing that we did with the dryer. I'm not too sure how many people actually got my joke in the previous episode. Was it? No, it must have been two episodes ago. When I said it was corny. <laughs> I was referring to the corn. <laughs> I guess my joke was corny in itself. Right. Let's get this to 100%. 36,000, but we do have a little bit more. It's kind of like 5,000 or so. Five or six. But at least, yeah, the tracks can pull it. it. It's struggling, but it can pull it. And that is the important thing here. We'll certainly be doing more corn in the future. Corn drying. We'll have to plant some. It's a spring crop. We put it in the spring, so uh, yeah, not doing it just yet. But I think we're probably going to have to pass some time anyway to get back to the spring. We're not just going to sit around twiddling our thumbs. Ah, oh, crikey, where's the cell point? <laughs> that was there. Ah, I probably put it a bit close to the wall then. Well, we could always reverse in in the future. That's not a problem. I'm okay at reversing these trailers. Right, that money is going to go up fast.
so good to see. Lovely. So lovely. £84,000. We will, um, we will sell it, I think. Um, if we can do. Hopefully we can do. I don't want it. Good. So we have 361. Let's repay that loan. Where's the loan? We have £130,000 worth. We now have nothing. And we're still left with 231. And we have a little bit more corn to sell. So it's looking good. Unlike my other Let's Plays. Uh, yes, we will certainly succeed. We will be making millions on here. It's not going to drag on. Vintage Survival has surprised me. Um, I thought, especially as play on the easy difficulty, it would be uh, actually too easy. But no, that has just been... Uh, well, for me at least, it's dragged on. Yeah, I'll definitely reverse in next time. You'll see how much easier it is. Just casually smashing into a propane tank here. 6,159. That's more than the 1,000 that we had with the canola. Yeah, I'm going to have to get used to the tail swing. This trailer does have tail swing. Oh, crikey. Right, yeah, this time we're going to reverse as mentioned, so it should be so much easier getting in and out. If we just do a nice spin round. Yeah, it's a good job I didn't put it even closer to the fence, because I didn't actually realise when I placed it that the cell point was on the back. I assumed it was on the front. So, yeah, I was lucky. But not an issue at all. Easy. So we're going to finish this episode with, as mentioned, a really decent amount, £245,550. And we started with minus 800 and something. Was it... Minus 843, possibly? I don't know. Anyway, it doesn't matter. It was a bad number. It was very negative, in fact. <laughs> so, anyway, yeah, we're going to leave it there. We've achieved a lot. We will probably buy an auto stacker next time, as we now have the money. We have no loan. So good. Um, and, yeah, we're going to be working towards getting cows. We'll definitely buy cows. We'll buy turtle mix ration bags. And we will soon be spreading slurry with the umbilical system. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.